I am Anil Kumar. This video is for my student Melissa who wants to understand how do we solve these rate of change problems when shadows are involved. So I defined a question which is kind of general purpose and you can I think solve any rate of change question regarding shadows with the help of this example. The question here is a man h meter tall walks directly away from a street light that is capital H meter high at the rate of r meters per second. How fast is the length of a shadow changing? Right. So let's make a sketch here. Okay. So we have made a lamp here and that's the path. The shadow of a person walking away is on the path or on the road. So what we'll do here is that we'll just make a triangle. These are all right triangles and label them. So we have a lamp post which is H meter high capital lowercase h meter tall is the person walking away right so we are walking away. Let us say that this distance of person from the base of the pole is x. Then r the rate is actually dx dt right dx dt is the rate r at which the position of the person is changing and the length of the shadow is this s from the position till the tip and that's the tip of the shadow. Um, in this video itself I have included a question regarding change of the tip also. So we'll relate both length of the shadow and the tip of the shadow. We'll call this point as t for the time being. Now you can see that we have two similar triangles here. One is this small one, the other one is that big one. We can form our equation with the help of these similar triangles. So length of the shadow s over small h, this small triangle is similar to the big triangle, is same as this total length, let's say the pole is OP from O to tip T, right? That is X plus S, right? Big triangle X plus S over capital H. X is changing, S is changing, but these heights are constant. That is important to understand, right? Now, from here, we need to find what is the rate of change of shadow, right? So we can isolate S, correct? So let's do that part. So what we will do here is that we'll multiply H over H, right? And what we get here is X plus S. So now, what we can do is we can take the derivatives rather let's simplify it further bringing this s term to the left side so we get s minus h over h s equals to h over h x correct so we have got all s terms together x terms together and now we can differentiate with respect to time Is it okay? Both sides, then we get ds dt minus h over h ds dt equals to h over h dx dt. Correct? dx dt is the rate of change of distance of a person from the pole which is given to us as r as I mentioned here so we know that part we can take ds dt common we get 1 minus h over h and we have h over h 
dx dt can be written as r correct now here we can take common denominator simplify this a bit so we can say let me okay let's go one more step here ds dt equals to h minus h over capital H equals to h over h times r correct so let's take it to the right side isolate ds dt since we want to find how fast is the length of the shadow changing that means we are interested in finding ds dt right so we have ds dt equals to h over h times capital H over h minus h times r correct this you can simplify and what you get is the result h over h minus h times r <coughs> which is the first option is it okay so that is how you could in general solve the equation now at times if it is given that height of the pole is 8 meters height of the person is let's say 2 meters and uh, rate rate r is let's say 1.5 meters per second you can substitute these values and find the answer right now let's take another version of this and uh, figure out what happens to the tip of the shadow right so the next question here is same scenario a man h meter tall walks up directly away from a street light that is h meter high at the rate of r meters per second this is exactly the same situation which we considered last time so let me repeat that diagram here okay <clears throat> how fast is the tip of a shadow changing that's a slight change so let's say this is a person walking away so i'll try to make exactly the same figure h and h is the height this is x this is shadow and this is tip this is op is the pole okay now we are interested in tip that means we are now interested in this much of distance and find how fast is the tip changing so this time when we are going to relate the triangles we can say s over h will begin with the same thing equals to ot right the tip ot over h i could write t over h uh, so what normally i do is i'll think this is a coordinate axis do you see that uh, this is y this is x then t becomes like position is that okay so instead of ot i could have written just t simplifies a bit right okay think like this so we'll say that this length this length is t from here to here tip of the shell so I'll not introduce O. So it becomes T over H, right? Okay. Now since we know what is dx dt, we know dx dt equals to R. It's a good idea to write your expression in terms of X. Correct? So I'll replace S with T minus X, right? So we can write this as T minus X over H equals to t over h do you see that since we know from here s is equals to t minus x so that's the substitution which we have made here now at this stage we can take derivatives both sides we'll simplify later let's take derivative first so you get 1 over h dt dt minus let's put it in brackets minus uh, dx dt equals to 1 over capital H dt dt correct now we can isolate dt because we want rate of change of tip so we get uh, 1 over h dt dt bringing this here minus 1 over capital H dt dt equals to dx dt i forgot to include 1 over h that gets multiplied with both right 
Okay, so we have an expression here which is similar to what we had seen earlier. Isolate dt dt, this is what you need. So we can write, this implies, we can do here, dt dt, rate of change of tip equals to 1 over h minus 1 over capital H, which is 1 over h times r, because dx dt is r, correct? Let's take it to the right side and do further calculations. Basically rearrange the formula dt over rate of change of tip is equal to <coughs> when you do difference you have to cross multiply right so basically this term comes to the numerator so we have h times h over capital H minus h times 1 over h times r so what you see here is that these h cancels and you find capital H or h minus h times r is rate of change of tip of the shadow, right? So this is option B for us, correct? So that is how you could get how fast is the tip of the shadow changing. I hope that makes sense to you. Now in some questions, both could be part of your question. So you need not repeat what we have done here. So here is that type of question which says, a man H meter tall walks directly away from a street light that is H capital meter high at the rate of R meters per second. How fast is the tip of the shadow T dash changing in terms of rate of change of length of the shadow S dash, right? So again, the same diagram. All situations are very similar and I purposely repeated so that you understand it, right? It's a very common question in test papers, very useful. So spending 10 minutes on this is worthwhile. So the person is X distance away, shadow S, T is the tip, and that's what we are talking about, right? <clears throat> okay. Now we have to relate these two things, change, rate of change of tip, and rate of change of shadow length. So that is the shadow length. So we'll again look into small and the big triangles. Both are right triangles. Right triangles and they are similar. So ratios of the sides. S over H equals to T over capital H. Perfect. Now, you can take derivatives both sides, right? So you get 1 over H s dash equals to this with respect to time okay and um, here we can see 1 over h t dash so what do you really find you want to find what t dash is as compared to s dash so we get t dash is equals to capital H over small h s dash right basically we are trying to say here that dt over dt with respect to time the ratio is height of the pole to height of the person. So that is the relation. So the option for us in this particular case is option C. So that is how you could actually solve the question. So in case you have to find in part A, rate of change of length of the shadow, part B, length of change of the tip, then you can multiply by capital H divided by H to the rate of change of shadow to get the answer. Amal Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand uh, the different scenarios involved in such cases. Feel free to post your suggestions. If you like, they'll be great. Share my videos with your friends. They'll be much better. Thank you and all the best.